questions for Keziah? We'll start with Ira Schofel from Wartan on your right. Hey, Keziah. Uh, what was this past season like for you? I mean, getting to practice but not actually being able to play. Was it frustrating or did you enjoy that time? Uh, I could say at first it was a bit frustrating. You know, haven't been, haven't gotten an opportunity to play in the last two years, but actually, you know, took it in as a, you know an opportunity to get better. You know, better my craft and you know build a relationship with the guys on the team and in my room. Next will be Chris Knee, front row to your left. Good morning. When you were making the decision to leave your prior institution, what was it that set up this new part and made sense for you for your next place? Like what made me to leave? What made this place yeah. you wanted to go to? When you uh, I think, you know, actually just being a Florida native, you know, uh, want to get back home, want to get close to my family, close to my daughter. I think that was probably the most, you know, the best decision, the bigger decision for me, when, you know, coming here. So. We'll stay there for Zach. You had kind of an unusual, like, portal recruitment coming in right before the season. I guess just what was that process like um, joining the team right before they were starting to get things going? You going to repeat that question again? I can't hear you. Um, so, you know, obviously you had a, a kind of a unique portal uh, process, kind of entering the portal and joining the team right before the season. I guess what was that process like for you? Uh, it was a bit weird at first because I was kind of stuck between, like, if I'm going to stay home or, like, where school I'm going to go to. But I think, you know, me talking to the coaches here and, you know, getting a, having a good plan, you know, good basis, trying to get me to get here. And I, you know, stuck with it, wanting to come here, you know, want to be a part of the team. And... I'm here now, and you know, I'm glad to be here. So that's pretty much what it was. We'll come back to Ira on your right. The team obviously had a ton of success running the football this season. How fun was that watching that from where you were watching it from and, and, and just knowing you were going to be a part of that, that kind of offense? Man, it was amazing, you know. You know, watching my guys out there, you know, rooting them on, have, looking at them and having seeing them have the success that they want to have was amazing. And just for me, you know, where I was, you know, on the sideline, just picturing myself, you know, you know, next year making the same type of plays and, you know, just being a part of the team and being with the guys and having fun with them. So, man, I'm, I'm very excited and I can't, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I kind of, I kind of see similarities between me and Trey Benson, and I have a, you know, fast, big guys, string, strong, run downhill, but I also, I also got you know abilities, you know, move side to side as well, you know, lateral movement. So, you know, I, I can say, I can say a little comparison to Trey Benson, but also I'm, a, I'm myself. So, you know, I see I can separate myself from everybody else a little bit, and then. I'm too crazy. Right, next question will be Jerry Coates from the Osceola front row. Hey, um, in, in terms of the prior institution you were at and now here at Florida State, how do they compare in terms of facilities and resources for the student athletes? Uh, really not too different. I think Penn State is probably like a bigger, uh, I'm not going to say a bigger program. Their campus is probably a, a, pretty much a lot bigger, so they have a lot more things to do. So their facilities like, it's a, it's a little bigger, but we're about to got our own facility here now, so I'm excited to see what this facility looks like compared to what Florida State looks like. But it's not too many differences, uh, too many differences at all. All right, next question will come from Zoom. It's going to be Matt Baker from the Tampa Bay Times. Florida State's had a lot of success with transfers last year and in a really touted class this cycle. What's making the, the transfer process work so well at Florida State? You, you've been on the inside. Uh, I think just. I think it's what we're doing here, you know, the the, the brotherhood, the family that we got uh, going on right here, what Mike Norvell is doing, you know, uh, I think it's bringing us all together and, you know, trying to be a, you know, be a great team, a great brotherhood and, you know, have success on and off the field as well. Like, what that looks like. Like, I mean, you've been in the 
locker room than you've seen in game day, but what does that look like compared to maybe an ordinary team? Um, I can say, you know, just the way we interact with each other, you know, the way we laugh, the way we joke, you know, how we interact with each other on the field. Like, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, for example, you, you might mess up on a play or something, you know. You don't, guys, you don't hear guys, you know, trying to beat you down. You got guys uplifting you, you know, encouraging you. Okay, man, you got the next play, man. You can do better. Like, you got guys that actually believe in you and want to see you have success and want to see you be great. And I think that's the difference that's going to set us apart a lot from um, ordinary teams. All right, we'll go back to Zach on the front row. Uh, um, I guess just how do you envision your role in the FSU offense this, this upcoming season? Uh, uh, you know, taking it day by day, but, you know, I – I, I I see myself being a big impact on this team, big big time player. But you know, whatever whatever I can do to make the team better, you know, and impact the team in the greatest way I can do. So. All right, we're gonna come back to the Zoom. Aslan Hajimanji for a four chance. Kasai, you got here in the summer. I know a lot of guys were excited and confident about what they could be in 2022. Can you compare what's the confidence level like now this offseason going into 2023 uh, versus what you think the team felt in the summer of last year? I think our confidence is uh, very hot right now. And, you know, based you know, based off what we did last season, you know, coming off a 10-3 and record, uh, I think when, especially with the uh, transfer guys that we coming in, the recruits that's coming, that came in, and I think our confidence is high. And, you know, like I said, we just – Right now, just working on, you know, building a better brotherhood, building a better culture, a better family, and being able to come together and, you know, produce on the field as well. So I think we're very confident and we'll have great success going forward. Okay, we'll stay on the Zoom, go to Matt Marshall from the Orlando Sentinel. Now, you talked a little bit about the transfer process, but overall for you, what was it like? I mean, from the moment you put your name in the portal to hearing it back from Florida State, what was that kind of whole process like for you? Uh, it was probably a little chaotic at first, you know, try, you know, in the midsummer, you know, really late in the transfer portal, you know, you got all these type of schools, you know, want you to come here, want you to go there. But, you know, I think I really just settled it down to where I wanted to be and what was going to be the best fit for me in my future. And, you know, picking Florida State was uh, probably the best decision I made, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, first, how much did you know about Jordan Travis when you got here, and, and were you surprised at all by what he does on the field? Ah, so <laughs> me and my dad, we were uh, once I hit the portal, and I was thinking, dang, pops, you know, like think about Florida State, and you know, he would talk to me about you know Jordan Travis, like man, I could, I could definitely see you guys being a you know one-two punch, like he could run, he could throw, and you know, at first I really didn't really know too much about him from my background, and. You know, being able to actually watch him in live action and especially seeing what he did the last two games, man, really, really surprised, surprised me. And I'm like, man, like, he got it. Like, he definitely, he definitely is a dude. And I'm like, man, I, I'm excited to see what we can do together as, you know, in the backfield and as a team and, you know, we have a great success together. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely pretty high on Jordan Travis. And then what, uh, what's Coach Yak like? How much have you enjoyed being coached by him since you've been Oh man, that's that's my dude right there. That's my dude, Coach Jack, my dude, man. You know, real down to earth guy. You know, always pushing us to be better, not just on the field but off the field. You know, checking in on us. You know, actually kind of being like a, you know, like a dad, like a parent does. You know what I'm saying? Not making sure like we good outside of here. You know, if you need, you know, you know, food, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's the, he's always there for us, man. I I appreciate it for what he's done for me and what he's done for you know the room so far. Anything else for Kazai? Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank you.